spring is literally right around the corner. So I have some fragrances that I am super excited to wear this spring. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said, these fragrances that I'm going to share with you today are fragrances that I'm excited to wear this upcoming spring. Now, I usually keep these videos to 10, but for some reason, I could not this time around. So I have a total of 13 fragrances to share with you all. Two of them are kind of honorable mentions, so I'll leave those at the end and I'll tell you why I'm kind of putting them as honorable mentions. But yeah, we have a lot to get through. So let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So the first fragrance that I have here is from Parfums de Marly and this is Oriana. So this was like all the hype when they released the promo pictures for this last year. But since it's come out, it's gotten mixed reviews and including from me. However, I cannot deny the beauty of this scent. It's absolutely gorgeous. So this to me smells like a raspberry and orange blossom marshmallow scent. So it's sweet, but it's also a little bit tart and it's a little bit floral and it's just all blended together very well. It is playful and flirty and feminine, but not childish in any way. It's a grown woman gourmand for sure. It does not smell edible. But those gourmand notes definitely stick out. So I think that this is going to work well for me in the spring because our springs are hot, but they're nowhere near as hot as our summer. So our temperatures go up to probably 85 90 degrees in the spring and i know some of y'all are like what what do you mean that's not super hot it is hot it's just not as humid in the spring here as it is in the summer summer is a bit unbearable honestly because it gets so like humid and sticky and muggy where i live but um in the spring i have a little bit more wiggle room with my fragrances because I can typically wear my really sweet fragrances gourmand fragrances in the spring whereas in the summer sometimes the humidity makes them feel like too much. Hopefully that makes sense. So I just wanted to give you guys that heads up as we talk about the rest of these fragrances. Anyway, Oriana is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to get some use out of her this spring. The next fragrance that I have was almost left out of this video because honestly, when you hear the name of it, you're probably gonna think it's more summer appropriate, but I am super excited to wear this, so I know I'll be reaching for it this spring. This is from L'Artisan Parfumer, and this is Banana Banana. So this fragrance is a banana flower scent. So it smells like bananas and musk and a little bit of an amber base. I think I got this last summer and I did wear it during the summer, but I think in the spring it's going to do so well because that musky, ambery base, it gives it something to hold on to. It's not just super sweet tropical banana. This is absolutely gorgeous. I've actually been wanting to wear it recently, but I'm saving it. <laughs> so I cannot wait to wear this one because I've missed wearing it. As you can see, I got it last year and I have a bit of a dent. Like I feel like that's pretty good for me. This is a 100 ml bottle. So I feel like that is a pretty good size dent for me. But anyway, I'm very excited to wear it again this year. So this is L'Artisan Parfumer Banana Banana. The next fragrance that I have is one that I don't wear very often, but I'm really hoping to get more use out of it this spring. So this is from Kayali. It is Deja Vu White Flower. So this fragrance is a white floral scent, as the name would imply, but those florals sit on a bed of vanilla. Now the vanilla is not overpowering, but it is sweet, like the Kayali Vanilla 28. It is a sweet, like gourmandish vanilla but then the florals are sitting on top of that. This is actually a really pretty scent. I like that it doesn't smell too sharp, which is sometimes a problem with me with some white floral scents, especially more of the designer ones because I find them, they just seem to be sharper in my opinion. They end up giving me a headache. So uh, this one does not give me a headache, thankfully. So I'm hoping that I will get some use out of it this spring because it is really beautiful. When I wear it, I do get compliments. It's just not something that I reach for very often, but hopefully that changes over the next couple of months. So that is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower 57. Now, before we talk about this next fragrance, it's also a floral scent and 
If you guys have followed my channel for a while, you may know I'm not the biggest fan of florals, but I do want to wear florals during the springtime mainly. So a lot of these scents are kind of more on the floral side. So that may be a little bit surprising for some of you all if you <laughs> follow a lot of my videos. But these are the types of fragrances that I think about when I think about spring. So anyway, the next fragrance that I have is from Tom Ford and this is Soleil Nage. Now I said this was a floral scent and it is, but to me, this is a very difficult one to describe. It is definitely a floral. I'm not sure what type of floral, but it kind of smells like white florals, but there are aldehydes in this as well that kind of give it this cold feeling. But then there is also like a warmth to it that I really don't know how they did that, honestly. It is amazing. This is one that I feel like you just have to try on your skin. If you see it in store, spray it on your hand, walk around and let me know what you think of it because to me it's quite unique. Now it's not the best when it comes to performance, but I'm okay with that for this scent because it is so unique and it's so beautiful and I don't have anything in my collection like this. And I love how they managed to get that coolness and that warmth in the same fragrance. So this is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. So the next fragrance that I wanna share with you guys is one from Amouage and this is Portrayal Woman. So again, this is a beautiful floral scent. I believe the floral in this is Jasmine, if I remember correctly, but the floral is a pretty sweet floral, but then you have some tobacco on the background that really gives this something to hold on to. So it does not smell like your average floral scent. It is sweet, it is full body, but at the same time, it's still very feminine, very pretty. Probably not the easiest to wear floral for most people because I know a lot of people find Amma Wash to be difficult and their fragrances are quite complex. So they're not gonna be for everybody, but I think this one is one of the more wearable ones that I have smelled from Amma Wash. Y'all may disagree, but I honestly do. Uh, it's, it's gorgeous in my opinion, and I think it's gonna be great for spring. Again, that is Portrayal Woman. So the next fragrance is one of my all-time favorites, but I don't really wear it in the winter, so I'm excited to pull it back out for the spring. This is none other than Roja Creation E Parfum Cologne. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, then you may remember that I call this my sexy rum and coke fragrance. It is a little bit boozy, it's fizzy, it's a little sweet. I believe it has almond in there. Well, it smells like it does anyway, but it gives off this soda type vibe, but it's done in like the most classy way. I love this. And I just can't wait to wear this to like an outdoor brunch. I love wearing it when I'm gonna be outside and there is a little bit of a breeze because when the breeze hits, it just makes it smell even better. Like this is amazing for outdoors. And spring is the time of the year when I mainly will sit outside at a restaurant. <laughs> Once summer comes, uh, no thank you, I'll be inside. But this smells delicious without smelling super edible. I love this one. It, this is marketed towards men, but I honestly feel like it's quite unisex. Like it sits right in the middle in my opinion. So again, that's Creation E, otherwise known as Enigma Parfum Cologne. Next up is a newer fragrance to my collection and this is Gucci, A Chant for the Nymph. So this fragrance is gorgeous. It is definitely a floral. This is probably a little bit more floral than what I typically would go for, but I blind bought this and was pleasantly surprised. I think it kind of helped step me out of my comfort zone. I can't exactly remember the types of florals that are in this fragrance, but I'm pretty sure it's frangipani and ylang ylang. So yellow florals that kind of give off that tropical vibe. This also smells like there is a bit of vanilla, but to me, the vanilla just sits in the background. This is definitely a floral scent. It definitely also smells like there is some coconut in this fragrance. I'm not sure that there is. I'm leaning towards there not being, just if I can remember correctly, but it smells like there's some coconut. It smells kind of like a beachy floral scent. And then it also kind of gives off a shampoo-y vibe. Like, <laughs> Hopefully you guys know what I mean, but it kind of gives that shampoo clean smell as well. I absolutely love it. I have only worn it one time because I got it during the winter and I feel like this is more appropriate for spring, summer. So I cannot wait to actually like dig into this bottle and actually get to know this fragrance a little bit more. So this is Gucci, a chant for the nymph. So this next fragrance I actually got, I think at the end of last summer, but I haven't worn it that much to be completely honest. And I think it's going to work out really well for the spring for me. So this is from Tiziana Terenzi, 
this is Borea. So this is a beautiful floral scent again. <laughs> but this floral has notes of coconut and almond in it that really give it this different kind of twist. It's kind of a sweeter scent, but then you also have that almond that's nutty and just a little bit powdery. And then the coconut just gives it like a creamy flair. It's actually really, really beautiful. So I can't wait to wear it more over the next few months because it is really beautiful. I will say when I wore this at the end of summer, I did really enjoy it, but I kind of feel like it's one of those floral scents that could possibly give me a headache. So that kind of made me steer away from it. So we shall see. Um, I have never gotten a headache from this before, but there is a little tiny bit of sharpness to the floral that sometimes is a problem for me. So we'll see, I'll have to update you guys, but it is an absolutely beautiful scent. And I think it's going to work well during the springtime for me. So again, that is Borea from Tiziana Terenzi. Next up, we have a rather affordable fragrance. And I'm just realizing as I'm looking at these fragrances that most of these fragrances are very expensive. And I'm sorry, I didn't do that on purpose. It's just what I was excited to wear. But I am happy to share this one with you that is not expensive. This is from Lolita Limpica and this is Oh My Biche. So this fragrance smells like a peach bellini. So I can definitely see myself wearing this to brunch somewhere this spring. It is so beautiful. So if you like peach scents, then this is definitely one you should try to get your nose on. The peach in this smells very sweet and juicy and like thick. And then it has that sparkling nature that you get from like champagne. So I definitely think they nailed the peach Bellini <laughs> concept because that's what it smells like to me. It is beautiful. Now I actually think I'll be wearing this during the summer too, but like I'm so excited to wear this. I haven't worn it yet because I want to wear this to brunch. I'm not going to lie. I want to wear this to brunch where I'm sitting outside drinking a Bellini or a mimosa. And yeah, that's just the vibe for this. So can't wait to wear it super excited to and I'm glad that I picked this up. This was very inexpensive, but every time I smell it, it just puts a smile on my face. So uh, this is Oh My Biche from Lolita Limpica. So the next fragrance is from Killian and this is Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Now I know with a name like Apple Brandy, you guys probably are thinking that that's not going to be appropriate for spring summer, but this fragrance to me is very fresh and aromatic. It does have an apple brandy like smell to it, but not in a heavy, like thick, dense way. I actually think this performs better in the warmer weather than it did in the cold. I mean, when I say perform, I don't think this has great performance, let's be clear. But <laughs> I think it smells better in the warmer weather than in the cold weather. This makes me think of, again, sitting outside, having brunch, going to like a day party, which I don't go to, but <laughs> it gives me those feelings. It's so beautiful. It's unisex for sure, but I don't think it leans too masculine at all. I feel like it sits right in the middle and it's just, there's a brightness to this fragrance that I really, really enjoy. I love the smell of this. There's also a little bit of a minty nature to it as well. So I will definitely link my video for this fragrance um, when I reviewed it last year. Um, if you guys want to know more about the fragrance, but I think this is going to be perfect for spring. So that is Apple Brandy on the Rocks from by Killian. The next fragrance is one that is brand spanking new to my collection, but it had to make this video because I'm very excited to wear it, especially since it's new. <laughs> anyway, this is from Initio and this is Oud for Happiness. So yeah, like I said, I just got this. I've worn it one time because on the day that I got it, I wore it. Also, let me just go ahead and say, I actually shared that in a vlog. So if you are not watching my vlogs, please do always give like little sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff. And it's just a more relaxed atmosphere. But anyway, this fragrance is fresh and aromatic. It is a very green scent. I know oud is in the name, but to me, the oud sits way in the background. It just kind of gives it a backbone. You can smell it, but it's not the star of the show. To me, this is more about the green citrus and pine type smell. I'm not sure that pine is a note in here, but, but to me, that's what it smells like, a citrusy pine oud scent. But I'm leaving out one major thing. This has ginger. It has ginger in it and the ginger is absolutely beautiful. Now, when I initially sprayed this, I didn't get that much ginger, but after it sat on my skin for like a minute or two, the ginger really came out and that became like a really prominent note. And y'all know I love ginger. So this, 
I'm really enjoying thus far. And, and I feel like this is going to be a great addition for the spring because even though it is an oud fragrance, it's just uplifted by those citrusy kind of zingy notes in it. It's a very energizing type scent. So this is Oud for Happiness from Initio. So I have two more fragrances to share with you and these are kind of my honorable mentions and there's different reasons why for each one. So let's start with this one. This is Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. And the reason I decided to make this an honorable mention is because I've been wearing this. It's not that I have been saving it, but I think that it is going to be best in spring slash summer. This is a very juicy take on Flower Bomb in my opinion. So if you've smelled the regular Flower Bomb, which I'm sure most of you all have, this one is more sweet. It is a more syrupy take on the original Flower Bomb. I have a video comparing this to Flower Bomb original and Flower Bomb Nectar. So I will definitely link that. I'm not going to belabor you with talking about this again because I feel like I've talked about this a lot recently, but it's definitely one that I'm excited to wear this spring. So this last fragrance is one of my all time favorite scents. But it's an honorable mention because I actually wear this fragrance year round. I just tend to wear it more in the spring. So I'm excited that it's spring again and I will be wearing this out again. <laughs> so this is Amouage Sunshine Woman. I love this fragrance. I really do. So this is an Osmanthus based scent. So it smells, Osmanthus can smell like apricot or peach. And that's what it's giving off in this fragrance. So it smells like a fruity fragrance almost, but it's the off math that's giving it that fruity vibe. So you also get in here some white tobacco that really helps to set this fragrance apart. In my opinion, the tobacco is just so well done. It's very clean smelling, but it's definitely there and it gives it that extra element. This is a sweeter fragrance, but I don't think it's super sweet. And it almost smells like there's sandalwood in the background. I'm pretty sure there's no sandalwood in here, but that's what it kind of smells like to me. This is one that I absolutely love. It's quite unique. Every time I wear it, I just really enjoy wearing it. And I cannot wait to wear it this spring. I'm hoping that I get some opportunities to go out and do some things on these beautiful spring days. And so this is one that I would definitely be wearing for those types of occasions. This is not a fragrance I really like to wear like around the house or anything like that. I typically save it for like going out. It doesn't have to be anywhere fancy, but like going out on a lunch date or going out to brunch or going and doing something a little bit fun. I don't really wear this around the house. So I'm excited to hopefully have some more of those fun experiences this spring and Sunshine Woman can accompany me on those experiences. <laughs> anyway, of course, this is Amouage Sunshine Woman. So those are the fragrances that I am most excited to wear this spring. I did do a video like this last year and I will link it because I included different fragrances. I'm pretty sure I didn't duplicate any. If I did, forgive me, but I will link that video because those fragrances are still very springtime appropriate. I just don't like to duplicate my list. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that now. Also click that notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you never miss a video from me. If you are not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do that as well. I'm always over there in my Instagram story sharing little tidbits with y'all and talking to you all in my DM. So definitely check me out on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.